Craft Leaders, welcome back to my channel. We're back in this neck of the woods, East Bank Bypass Road. Just wanted to see what's happening with these connector roads. So they're building these crossroads. They're building these crossroads that run east to west and they're going to intersect with the East Bank Bypass Road. So this is one of the crossroads that is under construction. All right, this is looking east. There's a warehouse. And someone said that this new district called Rome used to be called Agricola. I'm not sure if that's true. But we are at the boundary between Houston. Houston and Agricola. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find our way across across this section to the east bank so that you can get a reference you know we sort of figure out where we are in relation to the east bank because right, that's a reference now I discovered or actually showed you in recent videos that a lot of this land is still vacant at Houston and room and it's under development but what they're building right now is a lot of warehouses that for example that fenced in property is a commercial uh, complex where they're putting a lot of stores in the last time we passed I saw some names like the home store which is equivalent to Home Depot and a number of other stores that I don't know the names of. In other words, they're not familiar. They might be new to Guyana. But what is interesting to me is to figure out where we are in relation to areas that we know because all of this is vacant land or so far unoccupied, undeveloped land. But where is it in relation to places that are already developed, like Agricola, Eccles, and so on? And so this is why I'm taking this cross street, so that I can connect this location uh, to places that we already know. So we're still in the process of exploring the changes. In Guyana during this period of rapid expansion economic expansion uh, yesterday I pointed out some of the trials some of the issues that we're having a lot of it uh, moral issues having to do with uh, the behavior of certain ministers of the government uh, it probably is necessary to define morality because it seems as if this practice of sexual abuse is not acknowledged. In other words, it's, it's sort of accepted in Guyana. Guyana is now having its moment of Me Too. Uh, so this practice of molesting children is quite common. And so there's even uh, people, political defenders, people of the major political party defending this uh, minister who committed some pretty uh, gruesome acts of sexual exploitation on indigenous children. 
and this has been ongoing for a number of number of years it seems and facilitated by a number of people within the within the political sphere but I'll point out to those of of the audience who are still supporting this PPP um, minister and his bad behavior that this is not the first time there was this guy called Charandas Basad who was a who played a major role in the overthrow of the last government he was one who voted uh, the deciding vote in the no confidence motion of the last uh, the coalition government he eventually was given position in India as the Guyanese High Commissioner in India and after years of cover-up the story eventually came out that he was recorded abusing an Indian professor, a female Indian professor and he cursed her out in a way that is quite typical of Guyanese abuse out and all of it was caught on tape. He was eventually relieved of his position in India and sent back home to where is it he lives? I think he's Canadian, Canadian citizen. So he's been sent back to Canada. That's Charandas Basad. So this is a pattern of behavior that most people would consider immoral, but for some reason the supporters of the leading party don't consider this to be bad behavior, and that's part of the dispute. What is morality? The country that is now in the you know in the eye of the world distance three miles morality. duration 49 minutes 17 seconds pace 23 minutes 28 seconds per mile 400 morning guys 57 kilocalories burned so we're still on our morning run and that's the reason why my My Adidas app is still operating in the background. I thought I'd turn it off. But here is a lot filled with earth moving machinery. It seems as if all of this is probably here. Dusan. This is uh, Korean made, Korean made heavy earth moving morning machinery. And all of this is here, I suppose for the development of land in this area. So I don't know what they're building in this fenced off area, but it seems as if it's another construction site. They put on a lot of sand on the ground and they have a lot of, I don't know if it's a storage location or it's just the initial stages of construction. So what we're trying to do is to put a, a location on this uh, area by connecting it to uh, perhaps places we already know. So this road has apparently been built already. It's a road that is built out of slabs of cement, so it's a concrete road. And it's we're heading west towards the east bank right the east bank road and so what we're trying to do is to not only see what's happening here in houston like i said on the north side of this road they're walking on it's houston so that side is houston and on the south side the sign says that this is rome but people have said that this was also called Agricola, particularly at the east east bank. I'm not too certain about that, which is one of the reasons why I'm heading in this direction to sort of connect the Rome uh, district community village 
to some uh, all, also well-known areas. So basically, we are still uh, between Eccles and say Houston and I would think that this Rome is east of Eccles but we're gonna find it once we get to the end of this road here we have cattle grazing on the side of the road so we're probably not We're probably not in the city zone. No, I think this cattle is prohibited from being in the zone in the city zone. They're zoned. Okay, this says land for sale and lease call 631-7959. I'm not so sure if that sign is um, authentic because a lot of land in Guyana is being sold by people who don't really own land. So if you want to find out if this land is available for sale, probably you can call that number. Um, but I don't know if they are legitimate. Yeah, like I was saying, this is probably not city zoned because if it were in the city, I suppose, it would be owning livestock would be prohibited in the city. So we're south of Georgetown, Houston, in the area of Houston, and we're looking at a lot of this land that is now being open to development because they're building roads in this area. All right, that's where we came from. We're walking to the west from where we started on the East Bank Bypass Road, and the goal is to walk all the way to the East Bank Road. So this is one of the connectors. It's a road that is going to connect the East Bank Road to the East Bank Bypass Road. And what we're seeing is that a lot of land that is covered with bush, with vegetation, that has not yet been developed. But we're also seeing here a fair amount of um, construction going on. This, for example, is another fenced off property with some what appears to be heavy um, electrical and plumbing equipment. Those are huge pipes, right? Those are huge pipes. That are being stored here. It also seems like electrical cables, right? These, or they may be flexible pipes, I don't know. But what we're saying is that this is what's happening in this neck of the woods. And we're just trying to put a lock on it in terms of location relative to the East Bank Road. Now the goal eventually, I suppose, is to build out commercial and residential property along this area. But right now it seems as if commercial property is established, is establishing itself. So this is another um, Another area where heavy earth moving machinery is operating. It seems as if from this point, like um, equipment for the waterfront, for wharf, right? For moving containers and so on. That's what this looks like a crane for moving containers. This is Komatsu Japanese Japanese earth moving equipment. So there's a fair amount of Korean and Japanese heavy earth moving equipment. I don't know who owns this facility and what they're doing with it. 
but it seems as if, if I were to guess, that they're setting up some kind of uh, construction site for shore base port facilities. And of course, of course, all of this land on the other side, north of this facility is vacant. So this is what's happening here, guys. This is some kind of industrial facility. We're getting close to the end. Morning. We're getting close to the end of this uh, connecting road. Getting close to the end of this connecting road so that we'll be able to identify this location relative to some place that we already know. So this is definitely some kind of engineering facility company. We'll see if you can grab a name off of it in a second. But they seem to have some buildings here that are related to the property. Ah, there it is. It's called Technic FMC. Technip FMC. Not too sure what kind of engineering work they're doing, but they might be providing facilities for other engineering firms, might be related to the oil and gas industry based on the pipes it might be part of that pipeline building they're building a gas pipeline to from the oil rigs out to onto the shore at uh, where is it on the west West coast of Essequib, west coast of Demerara, and this might be part of the construction crew. Again, on the other side, the opposite side, you can see there's some more, some more facilities. What is that? Kind of a warehouse facilities for heavy engineering. Morning. And people coming to work over here another oil and gas company this is noble noble is a french company morning french company is responsible for exploration gas exploration oil and gas exploration and they have i think they operate the drill ships or the exploration vessels that go out uh, prospecting for oil. So these two companies apparently are related to the oil and gas industry. Technip FMC and Noble. Noble I think is a French company and they're in exploration, oil exploration. So that's where we are guys we're in the oil and gas neck of the woods and this road seems to have been built a long time ago at least a couple of years ago and allows for these companies to set up operations here in the Houston Agricola and uh,
room. It's a single area. Alright, so 